In this episode, Gaijin Entertainment is bought by Hideo Kojima. Luigi finds out that he's incredibly scared of heights. And this man's queen really needs him. Oh, is this a bulldog? It's an enemy team. How did you get up there? You've got better reload than me too. Yeah, this is looking good. Absolutely perfect. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the M36 GMC, otherwise known as the Jackson Slugger. Now, there is another vehicle that at 5.7 kind of takes the limelight, and it's this guy. This is the M18. He is way faster than the Jackson and has a 76mm gun that reloads once every 6.4 seconds. Switch over to the Jackson here. We've got a M10 chassis with a 500 horsepower engine that, wait for it, <laughs> it's tiny. It does kind of hinder this thing's moving a bit. It's not slow but it's not M18 Hellcat fast. Now what this tank destroyer does have over the M18 is the US 90mm, a gun that I just don't get along with now that volumetric shells are a thing, but when we look at the M82 shot, this thing used to be in the ground. Not so much anymore, but it still gets the job done nonetheless. Yes, it really does have 173mm of penetration. It can overmatch and normalise at some really weird angles that it probably shouldn't at times, but in some instances, it'll do this. Yeah, I love I love the US 90mm, it works really well then. And the reason for that? You guessed it. Volumetric. In all honesty, there's no real reason to bring out the Jackson over the M18 just because speed is so much more of an important factor, but there are times where the 90mm will overmatch targets, and you'll definitely see it in these games we're about to play. Now, where I'd normally reserve the best game for kind of the intro for wetting your whistle, these two games are very, very good. <laughs> All right, let's pop into battle. Right, Nikolai, I don't know where you're going. You are going left. I'm going this way. We're on a down tier, I think, maybe. It could possibly be. Uh, we'll see. No R3T20s around. There are Brits though. And Brits are scary. Is that that T55 I'm hearing all the way over there? I'm trying now, I'm fairly positive it is. Right, they just shot a heavy tank. A KV1C, I think, I just seen. I'll take a loader in a breach. And he's on fire too. Mirror in the corner. No, he's still there, kinda. He moved. Th those, those guys don't know that his breach is knocked out. I really want to push these guys. Holy crap. That's an orange breach on the Panther. I'm gonna try and creep this KV1C. There's another thing there as well. Another heavy tank. It was particularly bad news for me. Oh, he bounced me. Now, if he's already repairing, we might be in danger. That man is very gone. K 
can I get up on this hill? No. Let's just kill this tiger then. Where the heck did he go? Oh, he's driving away. Wait, there's another one here. The turret elevation is our killer. Because we don't have very quick turret elevation. Right, the T-55s are here now. No doubt they've annoyed the enemy enough. Hello dudes. Right, the chances of the enemy coming back this way are pretty high. Um, in SPA. <laughs> and because of that reason, I no longer want to be here. I just seen a tank floating in the distance. Way back there. He's dead. And those two T 55s are definitely giving those dudes a hard time in their spawn. Are you killing them all? Yeah, they are. Oh no, there's one that might actually be killing them. We're making a... We're making a, a re-entrance here, I think. Okay, let's kill turret boy first. And... And then they spawned... Is that what... Is that a Dicker Max? What the hell do you call this thing again? I think it's a Dicker Max, not an Emil, right? Emil's bigger. What an absolute sad mobile. Right, now now the real tanks have arrived. Oh crap. Two of them actually. Now verbal wobs actually scare me. Oh, they're both pushing me. Ah, a murder. Did I get them both? <laughs> I don't think I got them both. The murder chasing me though. <laughs> yeah, I got his breach. He's just as for now. Is the other one pushing me? Wait. Okay. There's one more verbal one somewhere. Unless he's dead already. <gasps> A flag bus. Oh, I ran out of 50 cal. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a, uh, this is not common Jackson gameplay footage. The other rebel one must be dead. No, he's there. I see him. Wait a minute. What have I been doing this whole time? The 50 cal has paid off once again. Non-pen, I had two plates. This guy, this guy that came one see is serious about pushing me. I'm scared now, actually. Are you, are you coming? Oh yeah, he, he coming, all right. Verbal wind. Go away, verbal wind. <laughs> this is a bloody massacre. 
This should never have happened. A stug? It was driver. Uh oh. Come on, gun. And then there's a Panzer four over here. <laughs> I need one more kill. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, one more. Actually, one more. All right, GG. Holy crap, dude. What even was that? This is a new one. Mm-hmm. No action going on in the background. And we're back to hangar. For another crew lock. Right. Karelia. Again. Let's see how we got on this time. Last time we got tons of kills. Well, this is weird. There's tanks here or something. Pretty strange. Off to a flying start, these two. <laughs> this guy's name. Wait, hey, what on earth are you? Is a light tank, which I think is actually a Puma. Allied forces have captured a zone. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Yeah, I actually can't believe I'm in a match that seems to be working right now. I'm a little bit freaked out. The enemy is doing more than preparing, they're actually bombarding it. What are you? What's up, Emma? God, the 90mm has just been castrated. Artillery's moving my tank. Yeah, there we go. Right, does this EBR need my help back here? Where's this KV-1C going? Oh, hello, Tigor. I don't want you around. I think the EBR is actually bullying this guy. There we go. Did he... Did he get him? Okay, our team is like... Flanked them, maybe? And is now beating them up quite considerably. Good Avenger. There's nothing else going up that hill. Oh, there's quite a few dead tanks there. Oh, there is an Avenger here. Another one. But my reverse gear is pretty much non existent. Let's be honest. Eh, hey, nobody else? Any takers? a panther here. Come on, Jackson. That is not a good time for a firefly. You can actually cupola those panthers. Oh my god, we are getting we're getting bombed or something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They they be upset. I'm gonna get strafed by this plane now. Yeah 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 yeah. There's my engine. He's just gonna come back for me now. Repeat the deletion. Unfortunately, I've got no engine. 
I couldn't uh, I couldn't go after that panther while well, he was distracted. I'm also missing a commander now, right? Why is my radio operator gunner not replacing my commander so I can use my 50 cal? Oh, that's right, because the crew replenishment thing is bugged ever since they changed the way the reload thing works. Is this guy? Where did that panther go that I was shooting at earlier? Because that wasn't him, right? The dude I was shooting that had bushes and stuff. Driver gunner, machine gunner has a good hit. Ricochet. A I, uh, I don't really want to toy around with this tiger now. There we go. I guess that guy was like... Is that a breeder? It's more than a breeder. Yes, yes, Panther, yes. Leave that jumbo alone. I think somebody shot me from over here too. Oh, definitely. That was a decent hit. A good smack. Some might say. What's up, Tigor? <laughs> I was trying to bait him in for a shot and forgot I have no reverse speed. Okay, it's playing time. Uh, it sounds like there's an enemy playing up though. Let's go here. This is the only actual match I've had in this. So far. So, we're going to try and milk this game as much as we can. Oh, it's an... Italian flying 20mm shotgun that's up. You are actually pretty terrifying. We have the enemy team flanking us right now. I'm hoping that P63 is doing something about that guy. This dude is getting awfully close to our teammate for doing some danger close stuff. I want to get shot down. This M92 crashed. There's another plane. Ah, yeah, I see you. Is this looking like a wee double kill down here? No, probably not. We'll get bombs off anyway and pull off. That's good. It was only a Sherman Firefly. By the way, that Fokker Wolf that was up in the air, he's crashed. On par for the course. Oh, damn. This guy just shot down our P-63. I'm getting bullied by an aircraft too. That's a big bomb I just dropped. We, we can turn very well. Better than this guy, actually. We're gonna go... Round, rudder kick. Come off our throttle just a tiny bit. Oh, here another plane. That's never a good sign. A wyvern? No, it's not a wyvern. Ow, my wing tip. Ow, my everything. It's a firebrand who is definitely going to die. Attention to the map. Come on. No! He survived! Well, I'll tell you what. For some reason, we are still up in the air. The... Putting my flaps out actually made me go towards the ground more. Yeah, that's... Don't... Sh not sure how that's, that works. 
I'm not a, I'm no expert. Hold on. That's much better. Right, how far away is the runway? Far away enough that there's not enough time. Oh. You know what? I think we need to land this. It's something we have to do. The takeoff flaps make me nose down. That is actually very handy. <laughs> and we got a big old air brake on this. I'd rather land this than go back into the fight. Way more exciting. Although it looks like ticket bleed is about to happen. God, look at that ticket bleed. Four people left. Ah, oh. Maybe I wasn't going to land this. No. We seem to be doing okay. Well, no. That's not ideal. Bugger. I really don't know where to put this tank now that volumetrics a thing. It's not a vehicle I'd bring out at 5.7 over the M18. And really... There's not much of a 5.7 lineup left for USA anyway. 6.3 right now is really the sweet spot, I would say, and you can take out the jumbo too. Just leaving no room for this poor guy. Especially if you have this one. But that will be a video for another day. I'd like to thank all my patrons over on Patreon for financially supporting me over there. Without you guys, I could not do this, so I appreciate you very much. Especially the tier 3 people who for whatever reason, have some sort of need to give me more than is required. And that is Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Stumpin' Bunny, Ian Stoyan, Ollie Fox, Brahma Nation, Kayla White, Houndy Gateway, Belial, Trash Panda, Rige Zema, Ken the Soul Lord, Warpig, Firepiper, Sexy, Vanian, Yokbo, Justin Darlin, Shaf, Mr. Buzzwell, J Tormey, Fearsome Scotsman, and the Zetaco Guy. <laughs> That is a very, very large list of folks. And to everyone who is here, watches my videos, leaves likes as they're subscribed and you do. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. And thank you very much for watching. Much love. And bye-bye.